matter now. It's nil-nil, and we're going uh, balls deep into nuke. So, Tom's um, and Sammy for what can you do, or WCYD in a ramp room. Cheesehead for the terrorists. Going in towards Squeaky. He, of course, has a player just on the other side of the door, but he doesn't know that. We do, because we've got the beloved X-ray vision. So I don't think Nuke needs much of an introduction. Blatant CT sided map as the Stampede Terrace all into this bomb site right now. Tiller with first blood, and there's CTs all over the place. Daniel and Torp getting on the score sheet, and Toms comes in and says, I'll have a bit of that as well. Last terrorist standing is Dag, and the server has started lagging again. Why are we getting this? It's happening again, Fleur. It is happening again. Oh, God. It's happening again. Why is it happening again? Let me try reconnect. Maybe that'll fix it. I'm sorry, guys. These I don't understand why this is happening. You know when we were in Go TV, in that other server, we didn't have this yeah, problem. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. But when we're actually sat within the server, and spectating, the problem happens. We Please, had uh, sorry, just T TS1 the gun round, uh, day, the legendary day. From 1.61 versus Toap in a one-on-one. -on -one. Good play by him. Getting a triple kill. Guess I'll just have to like radio cast. <laughs> yeah, like the olden days on uh, what was it called? On yeah. Shoutcast. Those were the yeah. days. Right. Hopefully, uh, it will let me. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. So the terrorists emerge victorious in that first round which means they can buy up the bigger weapons they've got four galils and an AK Dag opting to go for the AK and oh I just re realized we're in the server so it means I've got no auto director so it means I've got to switch between these players no but anyways Daniel's been spotted near secret and he's got a four back he's only on two HP and probably the right decision on his behalf where are the rest of the terrorists we've got one two or we've got four of them outside and is actually on top of yellow which isn't actually yellow anymore but who cares dag with first blood actually no is it yeah it is first blood with that ak-47 so terrorists taking it nice and easy probably the right decision to go outside because of the long distance uh, advantage they have they can use their weapons for long distances they're gonna spot one and Tilla takes him down and at the moment it's going well I've just been told that Dag is called Day so I'll try to call him Day but sometimes I just end up reading whatever's in front of my eyes oh Tom's with two Day will go down and Tom's coming out of nowhere with two kills and two versus one. Tom's in an ideal world will want to pick up some sort of weapon right now. They're expecting him to come out of there. But left uh, in the right place at the right time. Tiller swaps his uh, Galil for an AK-47. And 2-0 to the terrorists. As uh, Again, as we'd expect. Um, but, you know, the CTs did a fair amount of damage to the Ts. So fair play to them. Yeah, the terrorists, they do have an advantage in the beginning of the round with or the beginning of the match with the Glock, with the Glocks, yeah. uh, long, short ranges, lots of ammo, so they are expected to win the gun round. So Toop is holding that lower bomb site, and oh, he's gonna have someone come towards him. Toop with the pre-fire, they've both spotted each other. Who's gonna get the better of who? And the terrorist probably no, he's not gonna fall back. Daniel's coming to help as well, and down goes Daniel. Lovely shot from Anz, and Toop returns the kill. So it's good we're seeing, you know, we're seeing one team get a frag, we're seeing the other team return the frag. But of course, it is a third round, and the CTs are decoing. So you know, we're not really expecting the terrorists to win this by any means where they're gonna go hcon is right on top of blue he's gonna spot one. Oh no good shot from leffer i would have thought that i would have put my money on hcon pulling that shot off but it wasn't meant to be three nil and this is where you know we'll really see what the cts are made of they finally got m4s two silenced m4s three proper m4s they've got the money in the bag and um Let's see what they can do with it. Because if they don't manage to win this round, it is going to be 4 0 to the terrorists. And as you guys probably know, the CTs will have to eco again. Or deco. So Tiller spamming through uh, Hut, not dealing too much damage. 
they slowly make their way towards Rump. Dag will get first blood onto Daniel. And what can you do? Not looking too strong at the moment. I know a lot of you guys wanted to watch What Can You Do. Obviously seem to be somewhat of a popular team in the Norwegian CSGO scene. Sammy will get that kill. Oh, and Tom's coming big with two. And Tom's with the third and toe up as well. It's a shame we weren't spectating it, but Tom's appearing out of the blue. And getting that important round on the board. And Flair, I think that's exactly what the CTs wanted. Um, and fair play to Toms. Yeah, obviously they wanted to have some rounds. But uh, as usual, the tourists, they need to have the three first rounds if they're going to have a chance. The rest is really bonus if they get a couple rounds in. So how many rounds would you say is realistically ideal for a terrorist side on Nuke? On such a CT side in that light, Nuke? Well, at a, at a minimum, I should, they should have a three. Uh, if you lose the gun round, you should be pretty safe then. And if you get the plant. Uh, but ideally, of course, you would have 15. <laughs> yeah, in a perfect world. So Daniel's in secret. He's made a bit of noise and they know he's there. And he's going to get pushed by one of the terrorists who is Cheesehead. He's had a bit of a grenade sort of explode beneath his toes. And Dag once again getting the opening frag. It's very difficult to cast and concentrate on trying to spectate on the right places at the same time because Nuke's just one of those maps where it's like everything's on top of each other and it could just go either way. Down goes Daniel underground. Thanks to Cheesehead. Let's go and find where these terrorists are at. And the 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 spectating thing's gone bad again. It's gone bad again, Fleur. Oh no, maybe it's oh fixed my itself. God. It's fixed itself. It's fixed itself. Leffer and Dagger making their way into main. They're trying to peek in. And Dag will get his second frag of the round. Dag and frag. Oh wait, no, he's not called. Dag is called Day. Day gets his second frag of the round. And the bomb will go down. But Sammy says no. Sammy wants to turn it around. But down he goes along with his teammate in Toms. And 4-1 to the terrorists. They're looking solid. But the CTs, you, they need to turn it around. They're decoing now. We're going to probably see 5-1 unless we see some sort of miraculous CT side come from them. And if I think if they give... I mean, correct me if I'm incorrect, but I think on Nuke, if they give more than five rounds away to their uh, terrorist opposition, it's going to be a long way back for them. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard, but uh, it's not impossible still. Uh, Nuke is a very open map. Uh depending on the skill level. So the CT's playing very aggressive and Tilla making Sammy pay for his stupid movements in Hut. And he will give his team that two-man advantage. Of course, one of the CT's unfortunately did time out. So the CT's already at a man disadvantage. They've decided to put Daniel and uh, Toe up near that lower bomb site and Tom's is going very aggressive actually here at lobby and Tiller will get his second of the round and bye bye Tom's and bye bye Daniel and Tope is the last counter terrorist standing and he's playing Super Mario in the vents at the moment he's surely gonna get that frag no I think he just needed to wait a little millisecond for uh, for you know his recoil to settle as soon as he came out of that vent and no surprise there the CTs are a man down guys um, and the server has been paused. Once again, I do apologize um, for the quality. Um, don't blame me. Blame the lovely internet we have here in the United Kingdom. Uh, I will try and improve the quality. Um, it's just because it's a weekend, so what happens is the I ISPs here in the United Kingdom basically like more than half my upload speed. So unfortunately, this is the best quality I can achieve at the moment. Um, so yeah, so the CTs, they're on a very, very, very harsh mixed buy because of course they had a player who left and he's had to reconnect and he hasn't gotten his money back and uh, we're going to have to wait and see how they try and play this one. Daniel's got that Mag 7 at ramp and that Mag 7, seriously, at short range is really like a, like a short range orc, let's be honest with that. It's one shot, one kill from short range. That's how powerful it is, but he's in the wrong place he is with that Mag 7 as the terrorists all rush into this A bomb site. They're not wasting any time whatsoever, and Cheesehead will get the bomb down, but no! That smoke was put down in front of Main, but Sammy doesn't care. He'll get the shots through the smoke, and Toms comes in heaven and says, right, thank you very much, I'll have a few frags as well. So, three versus three, HP-wise, it doesn't look good for the terrorists, but the scoreboard says otherwise. 5-1, Tiller 
missing the shot by a few inches. And there's the Mag 7. There's Daniel 2. Mag 7 kills from Daniel. And it's all down to him. No, he missed it, but he got it in the end. And I think Daniel gave me somewhat of a mini heart attack just then. But it's funny how I was talking about that Mag 7. And I said he was in the wrong place, but he came from behind, and my, my word did he punish him. Yeah, it looked like Tiller didn't get any information on where he was uh, in the end there. Looking in the complete uh, other direction. By the way, so that we, definitely caused him the round. With regards to people uh, saying, can anyone else stream, I'm pretty sure if, if you know anyone's interested in who's got better in, well a better ISP than me at the moment, if you want to stream... What we'll do is we'll try and talk to the players, make sure they use GoTV. That way my auto director can be in sync with your auto director. That way we can deliver a good quality of stream to you guys, the viewers. And at the same time, I can cast on top. So if people are up for that, we'll talk about it either at halftime or after this game. And uh, we're definitely aiming to improve the quality by the final and semi-finals, guys. So... Um, apologies for that. So back into the game. Sammy's only on 3 HP. Where is Sammy actually? He's uh, playing it nice and cool. Calm and collective. At this uh, lower bomb site. Tom's is holding Ram. But the terrorists at the moment. Oh, look at them. Look at them. There's three of them outside. Are they? Yeah, they are... No, they're not outside. And that's the thing about Nuke. The bomb sites are on top of each other, so you can't tell where they are on the map. They've already made their way towards the lower bomb site, and Tom's will even things out to make it four on four. But I'm sure the CTs will have heard those AK 47s in vents. And are the CTs going to try and do something about it? Are they going to try and prevent the bomb? being planted on this lower bomb site. Toop certainly wants to do that, but they, the uh, terrorist will know that he's coming from behind. He's got a spray in and around that yellow toxic barrel area. He's got uh, one heck of a job on his hands now, but Toop once again cometh the hour, cometh the man. And is that man going to be the man on your screens right now in Toop? He's got to reload. He's only got 14 points of, uh, 14 bullets in his weapon. I was going to say 14 points of health, but I think I don't know about what you think, Fleur, but it looked to me as if like he got the two kills and then he just sort of freaked out and thought, oh, I might actually pull this clutch off and uh, I think he forgot to reload his weapon and you know just take it easy because he had plenty of time to defuse that bomb. Yeah, so I said, uh, everybody in Norway wants frags. <laughs> Norwegian Counter-Strike, really. Yeah. Good old Norwegian Counter-Strike. So... The CTs, well, it's not looking healthy for them at all. What can you do? I believe that's what WCYD stands for in their case. And two rounds on CT nuke. I don't want to be offensive and say it's laughable, but it's not good enough. Um, and as a result, they're, of course, being forced to eco. The CZ-75 Auto, <laughs> what a gun. And I tell you what, it's definitely made the deco rounds a lot more expensive. But Cheesehead will live to fight another day. Two from Cheesehead. And uh, they were obviously somewhere in and around secret. Sammy's going to peek main, and Day disposes of him with ease. So Hcon and Tomzy, the last CTs left standing. I apologise for no auto director, and it's doing it again. I've got a laggy server. Do you think we could ask the players to all provide GoTV after this? Because it didn't seem yes, to do this issue, can. yeah, because we didn't seem like we had this issue when we were using GoTV. Okay, it's fixed itself. Hcon with that uh, CZ75, he knows Day's there, but Day will land the orb shot. He doesn't miss from there. And 7-2. And finally, the CTs, look at their money. They've got just, you know, 3,000. They're, they're forcing the buy. They know they can't afford to give away any more rounds. I mean, 8-7... It's still not good enough for the CTs, and they're going to have to pull off one heck of a T-side if they, you know, plan on advancing and making the next phase of this game, because at the moment, not good enough whatsoever. And let's say you were the leader of this team, Flo. What would you tell them to be doing at the moment? They're low on cash. They're low on confidence. They only have three FAMASs and an M4. What would you be telling them? I will probably tell them that they have to be a bit more defensive. Uh, we could see that Dan and Danny only got shot outside because he went defensive in the garage, trying to peek squeaky as well. Hmm. Not really working out for them and uh, going peeking. So the 
the server's doing it again. I'm really sorry, guys, and it sorted itself out by the looks of things. And is outside. No, the server's not responding. Come on, CS, here we go. Tiller's trying to infiltrate ramp, and he knows that Tom Z is in and around that yellow area. He's holding the angle. And Fleur, you mentioned the CT's being too aggressive. And Tom Z, oh, if Tiller had held it for a millisecond more, would have seen exactly what you were talking about. Tom Z, he was in the right position. He's decided to change his position and go aggressive. Fortunately for him, Tiller looked away, and it worked to Tom Z's advantage. But he is only on 2 HP, and he has that all-important bomb on his back. He's flashing in towards the A-bomb site. Sammy will dispose of him with ease. Are we going to see Cheesehead pull off what is uh, sort of near the impossible? He's going to get one frag and that is uh, one to the good. He's only got seven seconds to go. Nah, he's not going to pick up the, the, the bomb in time. He's run away. He's going back to T-spawn. He's managed to save that AK-47. Uh, you know, it's better than dying, I guess, but... Uh, I'm quite surprised with how well that deco round went for the CTs. They went for the FAMAS buy, but I guess on paper this map is so CT sided that you should see a CT side with FAMASs win against five terrorists with AK 47s. So. At least that's my opinion on it. What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, you can even win with uh, just a couple of pistols, to be honest, uh, on the CT side. Uh, holding the angles pretty good, uh, going backstab people. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And the CTs, we can definitely see what you mean by they're going so aggressive. Hcon is not even on the rafters, he's just, you know, he's tr at one point it looked like he was trying to push all the way into lobby in his early days to do that. So Sammy will see that smoke go down at main, Tiller will open the rounds fragging onto Tom Z and Sammy we said that he's going aggressive he's pushed all the way into lobby unfortunately he's got the bomb down but on another day that could have gone in favor of the terrorists and Day knows that Sammy's there he will miss the orb shot he sh fires again but still can't get the orb shot on target and it's a battle between Day and Sammy who is gonna emerge victorious in that battle and you know what guys it's gonna be Day Anz goes down to Topes AK as he nails him in the head and Day, with that big green gun with the AK-47, will pick up the bomb and head towards the lower bomb site. We just see one CT in HCon drop down to the lower bomb site, which is good. It means the CTs they're on form, they're anticipating it. They're not down just yet. And uh, HP-wise, it's pretty pretty even. But Tope is only on five HP. So it's not going to be easy by any means for Day, and he knows where HCon is, but the FAMAS at short range is better than the P250. And we're finally starting to see the CTs get some rounds on the board. It's a CT-sided map, guys, and, you know, we're seeing what we should be seeing. It's as simple as that. Well, yeah, the CTs definitely need to have eight rounds uh, now, or else it's going to be a really, really tough match. For the second half. Despite that, we still see players like Hcon, who's still on that CZ75 auto. And the question, guys, has to be asked: Why is he still on a pistol so much into the game? The CTs, I think they've won two rounds in a row. Why are they on pistols? I don't know. But the T's have—they've uh, not wasted any time at all. Here, the train of terrorists heading straight in towards this lower B bomb site. What have I just done? Right, Anz is in. I'm sure one of the CTs beneath him can hear it. He's a, oh, they're making a lot of noise in this lower bomb site, and Tope with a lovely shot onto Anz and the t CTs. They need to make sure they're not too aggressive now. They've got the T's exactly where they want them. But how are the terrorists going to counter this? We've got Leffer and Cheesehead last terrorists standing. Ah, and Cheesehead ain't standing anymore. And Leffer all by himself in the vents. And down he goes. 7-5 and 8-5 looks to be on the cards. Because I think if the CTs, if what can you do, don't get eight rounds. It's just gonna be too too much of a too too much of a hard job for him. So Tope is top of the scoreboard for what can you do with 12 kills, 8 deaths. Then we've got Toms with 9 kills, 9 deaths. Sammy with 7 kills, 10 deaths. Daniel with 5 kills, 10 deaths. And Hcon on 2 kills, 5 deaths. So let's go all the way to the terrace and see where they are. They are ecoing, of course. And the CTs, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy for them. 
day is being bombarded by grenades and M4 shots. He's, he's shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting. <laughs> but from that long distance, the Glock just wasn't effective enough. And Tom's blows him to smithereens. 7-6. And the T's have their beloved AK-47s back. So, scoreboard-wise, we uh, covered the CT scoreboard. Let's cover the uh, terrorist scoreboard. Day with 16 kills, 8 deaths. We've, most, we've mainly seen him play with uh, the AWP, of course. We've got Tiller on 14 kills, 7 deaths. We've got uh, Anz on 7 kills, 10 deaths. Cheesehead on 6 kills, 8 deaths. And Leffer on 4 kills, 8 deaths. So let's go over towards the terrorists. They're pretty much taking it easy in lobby they're not wasting too much time I'm pretty sure mentally they're quite confident at the moment there's seven rounds you know there's seven rounds to the good at the moment um, on T-side Inferno, uh, T-side Nuke, sorry, why not? And H-Con will dispose of two, but it's not going to be easy for the terrorists by any means. Daniel will take out D&G, and I'm not sure if he's trying to advertise Dolce and Gabbana. Um, <laughs> and Daniel will take out Day. So, I mean, uh, good old Nuke with no auto director. It's incredibly difficult to follow, but... Uh, the CTs, I was worried for them, uh, for them at one point. Uh, they've managed to bring it back 7-7. Seven, seven. If they manage to get 8-7, fair play to them. The terrorists, they're, they pretty much bought up everything they can, guys. They've got five AK-47s and uh, that CZ-75 auto. And Toa will open the scoring somewhere on the map. Let's see where he was. He was in main. And the terrorists, they've liked to uh, use outside quite a lot. Ever since they changed the position of back steps to a secret, it has made the map slightly more... Uh, T-sided, but ultimately, on the entire context of things, it is pretty much CT-sided, and down goes Torp, lovely flash from his teammate there, great communication from the terrorists, so you can see why they're doing so well here on uh, T-side nuke, Daniel's going to try and AWP outside, is he going to take, oh no, he just misses the shot, the oh, and hands, well, when you've got a player like that, with that kind of quality, um, uh, who can just pretty much 1AK an AWPA, then you're always pretty much guaranteed to win rounds, and no, no, big mistake from HCON, and it's little moments like that, guys, which is pretty much costing the CTs this half, and they're going to have to play the T side of their lives to try and pull this game back, because I don't see any way back into it for what can you do. I believe they will drop into the lower bracket if they end up losing the game. And here we go, 8-7. It's not every day you see the terrorists emerge victorious on uh, on a CT sided map as much as nuke but uh, it's happened here in this case and I've just realized that I've got uh, the Twitter text rotating I'm sorry I'll remove that now now as someone guys could have told me about it oh no mm. I didn't notice yeah, from it's, here it's fine so. but yeah you've been <laughs> quiet for a bit so Fleur let's uh, pick your brains a little bit um, do you think there's any way back into it for what can you do? I mean, obviously, there's always a way back into it, but realistically speaking... And then they have to play really well. Uh, anyway, the CT side, they have great players. Uh, the T side is much less experienced, and they have way younger players. But maybe they can uh, win using all their aim skills, so which Tiller's, I know they have. Tiller's trying to use the aim skill you were talking about. Manages to take out one with that P250 before falling to his death while Sammy nails Cheesehead in the AK, most certainly turning his uh, brain into uh, some sort of cheese-like substance by uh, placing that bullet in the middle of his head. But Daniel, he's going to know that Anz is coming through. What was Daniel doing? He finally pulls the shot off. Quite surprised that uh, his reaction time was quite poor. He's going to spot another one. And just as I badmouth Daniel, he proves me wrong. 8-8. Yeah, and they even won the gun round, which means normally for, uh, three or three rounds, or two more anyway. So we'll see if they can uh, keep the momentum going here. And like you said, it's really interesting how Nuke, you know, is a CT-sided map, but it seems like most of the time the terrorists, funnily enough, always seem to win that pistol round because you were talking about the advantages that the Glock has, and we've most certainly... Um, seen that um, uh, put into action throughout this game. Sammy's gonna peek at uh, Nuke. What are those CTs doing? They're pretty much sat on each other's heads. This G 
Cheese Head returns the kill with that one dig onto Hcon. So the bomb is going to be picked up in T spawn. Tomzy's made his way towards Secret. Cheese Head. Oh, the one P90 there from Tope. Whoa, it's not every day you see that, but if he can pull it off, why not? Daniel has somehow made his way around the back of the CTs in uh, in ramp room and there he is he gets a frag for his hard work but no they've left the bomb they both jump down towards the lower bomb site they've realized they've left the bomb and Anz is the last man standing but he will get that shot the problem is they know he's there and uh, the question now is do they know he's only on 8 HP Toop will plant the bomb and Daniel's all eyes on the vents and nope, it looks like Anza said, look guys, I've given this one up. I'm going to take that Galil for all my hard work. No, is he going to go for it? He's trying to look for a better weapon. He's picked up that Deagle. And I think we might see him go and hide in T-Spawn. Yep, that's exactly what we're seeing. And uh, do you think that's the right decision to make in a situation like this, considering the fact that he's only on 4 HP? Uh, yeah, sure. He, I don't think he would have stand a chance versus uh, two players. With almost full HP. Mm. And this isn't Neo, sadly. Who did a 1 on 3 with 4 HP in uh, EMS 1? I think I remember that. I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, versus NIP on Inferno. Pretty sick oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was watching, when I was uh, watching the uh, Katowice finals, I was revising for an exam at the same time. So. Oh, yeah. yeah but anyway, so the CTs are on eco, and Anz has that Galil that he, of course, saved from the last round. He's trying to play ramp aggressive, but it didn't work out for him. But most of the terrorists are still in lobby. So let's see how the terrorists are going to try and counter the fact that they know that the CTs are on an eco. They've of course taken the big guns, they've taken the AK-47s which are stronger from long range towards places like outside and so on. Toe up spots the CT and he will drop Leffer down as he and his teammates carry on towards this upper A bomb site. Or are they going to drop down lower? That's the question on Nuke. One second that all the terrorists can be on that upper bomb site, the next second they'll all be on the lower bomb site. And so HCOM will drop into vents. Easy kill for him. On for him. For him. Blah, 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 blah. On to Cheesehead. And Tilla will go down as well. Ten, eight. And uh, well, when you consider the fact that the terrorists look so weak as CTs, it. Uh, both these teams have made Nuke genuinely look like a T-sided map. And do you think that's because these teams have both, you know, be it, mi be, it, be, it, be it whether they're normal teams or be it whether they're mixed teams, do you think it's because they've been practicing their T-side nuke? Or do you think it's because both teams are really poor on CT nuke? I think it's uh, the last one, but now we've only seen three rounds uh, this half uh, with the CT having no guns. So we'll see what they can do with the M4s and uh, the families that they have. Maybe they play a bit better with those than just pistols. Well, we hope so, because they looked so comfortable in the first half. I mean, then they went and lost the, the pistol round. And it's gone all tits up for them from that point onwards. So Toop is sneaking towards outside. Little does he know that he has day to his right hand side and I think Toop is going to go to sleep now he's on 15 HP and Day puts him to sleep with that unsilenced M4 but Hcon is also there and Day once again good stuff from Day he's got outside on well pretty much full on lockdown but what can Tom's pull out the bag he's 36 HP and it ain't over until the fat lady sings but he doesn't have the bomb on his back he knows Day's in and around that main area. He's going to throw that nade in. Oh, that's going to deal so much damage. Oh, well, it dealt a bit, a fair amount of damage. Day dodged it just in the, in the nick of time. 15 HP. And Tom's has to do something. He needs to pick up that bomb. And the CTs, they're not going too aggressive, which was the mistake the current T side did when they were terrorists. But Tillo's in the right place at the right time. 10-9. And uh, exactly what you expected happened. Uh, uh, the CTs have finally got weapons. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah. I forgot your name. <laughs> it was fine. Uh, but yeah, 10-9, they've got the weapons, they've brought them up. But the terrorists, guys, they lost a round, 
but they can still afford to buy because you know they won the pistol round and that just you know gives them so much extra money so day was uh, playing outside in the last round but he's opted to go down vents this time round don't know if they're expecting something we're not it's a very very good prediction from day because we have both toe up and daniel outside and by the looks of things we got Tom Z and H gone out there as well. So if that's a, just you know a guess from Day, he's uh, made one heck of a brilliant guess. And is in rafters. As the CTs are pretty much pulling their triggers and trying to make their way towards that lower bomb site. As both teams try to uh, exchange frags. Day, once again, will get the first frag onto HCon, and Day has been just monumental so far in the last few rounds. He's been so important for the counter-terrorists, and the question at hand now is whether he can carry on that form. Daniel is uh, well, certainly enjoying himself at the moment, uh, looks like that anyways. Sammy's still in lobby, and I think he's waiting for his teammates to execute something on the lower bomb site, and then he wants to come from behind and take out the CTs, and it looks like he might just do that as Tope will finally land that headshot, and Tom's as well, and it just goes to show how quickly Nuke can turn. There's another shot from the AK-47 onto the body of Anz, and when it looked like that the CTs had everything under control, it looked like the terrorists were going too slow. Bang, 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 the terrorists have got full control of the A-bomb site all of a sudden. They got four frags in a row, and they're two rounds ahead. And it just goes to show, because both bomb sites are on top of each other, it just happens so fast. It just happens so fast. It really does. Yeah, they even had Daniel going outside on catwalk, sneaking up, uh, which was a really good idea, and uh, catching the CTs off guard. And because the CTs, of course, lost that previous round, they have been forced to eco now. And once again, it's uh, tactically spot on from what can you do. They know that their opponents are going to be ecoing slash decoing. So you know what they're doing, guys? They're going outside. They've got AK-47s, which are awesome at long range. So they're going outside, and you know, it's all good to have good aim, but you've got to be intelligent Counter-Strike players as well. And that's exactly what what can you do have done so far. And it's why they're in the lead. So... Three CTs left standing. And of course, all they have is pistols, but Tom's is looking at the wrong place. But surely, no, Day once again. Day's been outstanding for the counter terrorists. And Cheesehead says, Anything you can do, I can do better, Day. And it's all of a sudden three versus three, and it's even Steven. But the bomb's gone down on the upper bomb site. And it's going to be tough for the CTs to retake it unless they can pick up a few AK-47s and that's exactly what they have done. Day is going to play Super Mario in the vents. Anz will put his team one man up. Day will go in. HCon with two. He's going big and Anz will pick up that AK-47. He's starting to defuse. Where is HCon? He's anticipated the fact that he was always going to be a fake defuse. And HCon getting the better of Anz. 12-9. And it was a good job that Anz didn't have a kit, and that it well and truly was a fake defuse. Otherwise, I think HCon would have been in trouble. Oops, that was actually the wrong key. Yeah, it could have been uh, an interesting uh, end of the round there, but HCon actually got a 1 on 3 clutch. It was really good work by him. And it's just little moments of brilliance like that which can uh, you know win your games um, just as we talk about HCon's moments of brilliance he tries to uh, jump onto yellow and completely embarrasses himself so I think I should look away from him because uh, I'm obviously <laughs> not letting him play very well by looking at him so Sammy's gonna throw those flashes in towards that upper bomb site but it looks like the T's are pretty much well, they pretty much want to try and hit this lower bomb site through ramp. They will get that one frag, and you've got to argue the fight as to whether it was, you know, a cheap, a cheap death on behalf of the terrorists because, well, Toeup sort of went in all by himself, and he had no teammates coming in either. But Tiller's somewhere, and HCon finally shuts him down. And four versus three, it's even Steven, but not anymore. Cheesehead says, "I'll have that frag. Thank you very much." On to Daniel. And he will go down as Tom's last man standing. Four versus one. Is he going to do the impossible? He's not, guys. And the CTs live to fight another day. 12-10. And realistically speaking, it still really is anyone's game.
Huh. So, CT has managed to get around now. TS have won five rounds this half. All the CT has only got two. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a really evenly matched game, and I think this is quite interesting. The terrorists, they could have de opted to, you know, deco, but they've decided, no, some of us can afford AKs, and you know what, we're going to do it. Some of us can afford Galils. Do it. They've decided, we're not going to go with the P250s. We're not that desperate to have five AKs. Galils are good enough, and that's the thing about the Galil. It is, you know, a very underestimated weapon, and if you're good with it, then buy it over the AK. It saves you around $500 anyways, and uh, it's not a one-shot to the head then dead weapon, but, you know, it still deals a heck of a load of damage. So, Anz will get the frag onto Tom's, and Daniel might catch him with his pants down, and he does so, and the last CT left standing is Day, who is going to have to fall back go straight back to uh, exactly where he came from, which was, of course, CT spawn. He might ca catch a glimpse, or a, a glimpse of Tope. No, he's going to fall all the way back. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up now. I think Tope is going to try and track him down. They know that Day likes to AWP. Let's go and have a look at Day, if I can figure out what button he is. He's going to pull the shots off. Pulls the trigger and gets the uh, shot off with ease. And you can, as you can see, the rest of the terrorists, they're not pushing him. You know, they're playing it intelligently, they know they've already lost one AK-47 and they don't want to lose another one and uh, probably the right decision made from the uh, rest of the uh, terrorists. Yeah, Day is uh, absolutely a competent AVP -er as well. This would, would be quite foolish to go after him there without using flashes or smokes or whatever. So CT's having to uh, deco, and if it's 14-10, then it looks quite strongly in favor of the terrorist. Tope already with the opening frag onto one of the players. Sammy as well, and Tope is going to make his way. Oh no, Day! They forgot that Day still had that AWP, and Day's going to come in huge with two kills. But are those two kills going to be enough to win the round for his teammates? Daniel gets caught with his pants down, but unfortunately for him, it wasn't too catastrophic. Daniel, he's still got his eyes on heaven. He has to dodge those flashes, and he will take out Day and Anne's last man stand for the CTs. He's in main and surely it's going to be a sh kill for him. No, he wasn't. Age gone getting the better of him. And here's an interesting question actually because, you know, obviously I don't play this game that much anymore since my main concentration nowadays when it, you know, has anything to do with this game is just casting. What do you think about crouching in CSGO? Now, I've heard a lot of people say that they think it's more or less useless to crouch in CSGO as opposed to, you know, Source or 1.6 where it would genuinely give you an advantage. What's your what, what's your take on it? Uh, well, crouching kind of gives you an advantage because you can surprise the enemy if you're in an engagement with them. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's useless at all, to be honest. Uh, but it is a bit dumbed down from uh, 1.6 at least. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been I've been playing the game uh, quite recently, and I, I don't know. Crouching is just quite different to 1.6 in Source. I don't know what it is. Like before, you'd crouch and you'd it, it pretty much guaranteed an instant kill. Now it's a bit different. But then again, it could just be me being crap at the game because I haven't played it in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there is a big Reddit thread about it, so uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I guess different people have different opinions. So Daniel's on top of Yellow. Oh, hello. Hcon is AFK, he's timed out and he had the bomb on his back, so the terrorists had a chance to, you know, take this round. Um, but uh, Tom's has had to run had to have been forced to run back to T spawn now and pick up that bomb. So he is gonna pick it up. And at thirty seconds to go, if they are gonna try and plant it guys, they've they've gotta get a move on. Because as it stands, the CTs have got the entire map on full lockdown, but Sammy is going to dispose of Day, and Tom's is all alone with that bomb on his back. And what do you know? <laughs> he's uh, he went to T-spawn to pick the bomb up, and he's going back there and saying, "Look, guys, I need a helicopter to escort me out of here because I stand absolutely no chance." Now this is actually the second time I'm uh, hoping you uh, gets disconnected as well. Uh, gonna have another pause here. Waiting for him to come back in. All right, answering one of the questions in the chat. Hey, Kainai, what do you think about Quitty? In my opinion, he's taken huge steps lately and has established himself as one of the top players in the Norwegian scene. Well, hmm. my answer to that is that 
the first time I've, I, I've like ever seen Quitty play in my life was that previous game where he was playing. Uh, you know, I'm not Norwegian. I'm not very familiar with the Norwegian scene, so I really can't comment on it. <laughs> um, what do you think uh, for... Or is it Fleur? Fleur. 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 Well, yeah, Quitty is a good CS player. Uh, better than me. That's all I have to say. Fair enough. I haven't really seen him in any official, so I can't really talk about it that much. Your old Joachim STB seems to think that he's a, a very low player, so we'll see, we'll see. How about we organize a one versus one between Joachim and, um, and, uh, and, and Quitty? Let's see who the real very low player is. That'll be uh, an interesting 1v1 without a doubt. Um, yeah, we can stream it right here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, apologies about my lack of knowledge regarding the Norwegian scene. Obviously, some of you guys might know that I cast the Gfinity Alienware CSGO Pro League every Tuesday from London. I have to travel to London to do it. Um, and last week, I accidentally said that party astronauts were Danish. And uh, yeah, um, I apologize for that. I genuinely mixed up the Norwegian flag with um, the Danish flag and please forgive me for that because I love Norwegian people I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan and I love Morten Gans Pedersen but anyways 5 versus 5 and the CTs <laughs> well they forced this by they've got two farmhouses whilst, uh, the AK whilst the terrorists have those uh, big Russian weapons the 5 AK-47s which of course kill players with one shot to the head but Dag says, I've got an even better weapon which kills opponents with only a shot to the chest. 14-11. And if the terrorists really get the next round on board, not only would it put them at match point, but I think it will force the CTs to have to deco, and it will pretty much guarantee, guarantee them the game. Tiller's being pushed from ramp, and he's falling back. But the teams are taking their time to drop down, no doubt about that. But are the CTs going to use this man advantage that uh, they, of course, do have? They've made it look and sound like they're going towards the lower bomb site, but at the moment they're pretty much, you know, taking their time. I don't blame them. They've uh, only got 25 seconds to go, actually, so, you know, I said I don't blame them. I actually do blame them, because come on, terrorists, wake up. You need to smell the bacon and get moving. And we had HCon walking into that bomb site by himself. And the question that needs to be asked is why was that player walking into the bomb site by himself? The bomb will go down, and Left is going to come out and nail toe, toe up with that AK-47 as Leffer swaps his regular Galil for... Oh no! He wanted to pick up the M4 but Daniel... Daniel took advantage of that awkward situation it's Daniel versus Dag and why is the server lagging in this one versus one being DDoSed, right? Guys, I don't think we're being DDoSed, fingers crossed um, but yeah, we're still here and it's two versus four and this awkward um, deco from the CTs just trying to regroup my head together. And it's paying off for them. Oh, and Day gets his hat trick for the round. But it's not going to be enough to pretty much win them that important 12th round just yet. Three versus one. Tomzy, last terrorist standing. He's trying to tap the head of Cheesehead. And unfortunately, couldn't turn Cheesehead's head into cheese. Well, hey. And it's 15 12. Cheese even. Go for us to go on an eco again. Yeah. Lost and won around earlier. Tom Paper. We should see the T's lose this one, but obviously we know how overpowered the C75Z is. Um, so let's just wait and see. They're going as a stampede all the way into this A bomb site. Cheesehead with the kill. And 14 13. A very, very quick round for the terrorists and counter terrorists, obviously. But I think in that case, um, from the perspective of an ex player, the terrorists are like. You know, we're doing so well on Nuke so far. Let's just get these two deco rounds over and done with. We want weapons. And uh, they most certainly got that now. Sammy having to deal with the Galil. But like we said, there's nothing wrong with the Galil. It's a good weapon if you know how to use it. And now the CT's going to set up this time round. Day, oh, he's trying to play in a different position. I don't think we've seen him play there anymore uh, yet in this game. Theory me. Um, uh, it's really getting to me, all this casting, isn't it? I just can't put a few words together. So, Tope outside. Cheesehead will dispose of HCon. And it's uh, advantage CTs. 
But still, it's not the first time we see the CTs go one man up and blow it away. Daniel heard the AWP of Day. Let's go and have a look at where Day is looking. He's all eyes towards the head of one of the terrorists, and Daniel will even it out. And taking Day out, taking that AWP out, will give him, him and his team such an advantage. But Cheesehead probably went a little bit too aggressive. He just had to play it round the corner and play it for time. He knew the T's were outside. He knew they were going to come secret eventually. And when he's moving like that, he's giving himself a disadvantage. And on paper, we should see it be Anz's kill any time around. Or maybe not. Toop is expecting it. Anz has that M4. And they're both looking at each other. And they both know that each other are there. But who's going to get the better of who? Toop is jumping in. And it's going to be Anz. And that's exactly what I expected. But this ain't what I'm expecting. Sammy coming big and Daniel as well. And, well, I certainly didn't expect the CTs to pretty much lose this round as fast as they did. Are they going to lose it? Left is going to get the kill. It was two versus one. It's one versus one. As he goes in search of this last terrorist. And there it is. Daniel will take down Leffer by nailing him in the head with the AK-47. And it was a, you know, it was a difficult fight back from the CTs. Um, the first half was 8-7. The second half is 9-5. Two evenly matched sides. And when you consider that, what can you do? lost the first half as counter-terrorists on Nuke, but came back to win it as terrorists. It really makes you wonder whether Nuke is a T-sided map, uh, is a CT-sided map still.